not quite a rivalry like Iowa-Iowa State, but Nebraska is visiting Oregon. And let's bring in Brian Christofferson now to talk about the Huskers. They won last week against Arkansas State, but barely. So what's the thing that coaches most want to be different this week, Brian? Well, I think you look at that defensive side of the ball, and, you know, they want to keep stuff in front of them, but they, they need to tackle really well in space, and they need to get off blocks on the outside. I think when you watch that Arkansas State game back, you know, basically Arkansas State was just throwing bubble screen after bubble screen, and Nebraska's young corners were kind of having trouble getting in there and, and uh, breaking down that play before the guy would pick up five, seven, ten yards. This has to be a game against Oregon where you know the Ducks are going to put their athletes on the outside in space, and they're going to bank on their guy beating your guy and turning what could be a two-yard play into a 55- or 60-yard play. So I think the pressure is really going to be on some young guys on the outside for Nebraska to step up, not get lost in kind of a hostile environment, and uh, and be physical, and, and they're going to have to be sure tacklers because if, if there are yards after contact and, and whiffs out there, um, Oregon in that, in that environment is the type of team that uh, they, they can get that snowball rolling on you. Trey Bryant ran for 192 yards last week. For those who don't follow the Husker program as closely as you do, how surprising was or was this not to the Nebraska team? It was a bit of a surprise. Not that Trey Bryant was the top running back. That was kind of the thought going in. But all off season and really throughout fall camp, it was thought that this was going to be more of a committee where it would be three guys where it kind of gets spread out. Maybe one guy gets a few more carries than the others, but it's pretty close. Nebraska ran the ball 38 times in that game, and Trey Bryant had 31 of those carries. So I think that was what surprised people, was just the percentage of activity that he had. But he was good. I mean, he was he was getting those extra tough yards. He had 192 for the game, and uh, he was hitting the holes decisively. I do think maybe he got a little bit tired near the end of the game, and maybe that's a sign that you need to you know, work in a few more backs this week and, and get them some activity as well. But it was a very encouraging performance for a program that is they're, they're looking for that guy who can break out and be the man kind of ahead of the pack. And Trey Bryant certainly made a strong statement that, that he could be that guy.